Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, uh, I'll be explaining guys how to do differentiation in Python. Now the last tutorial, last tutorial what we saw is that we saw how to do integration in Python. Now this is actually the opposite, to, to do a differentiation. To do different differentiation, uh, the, uh, the method is fairly, fairly straightforward, extremely straightforward. Okay, let me just give you guys a demo as to what's going on. So, okay, uh, before that, let me just close all this. The variable explorer is just too much. Delete all that. Perfect. Let me clean up. Let me open a new file and let me save this as uh, differentiation. Okay, differenti differentiation. Okay. This is going to be just one tutorial, so it's going to be easy. Okay, the, so let me copy all this. I will explain to you guys what's going on. Okay, I need import numpy as np. np. Okay, and then what I need is that I need matplotlib import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and that's it if i were to run this no error if nothing no error pops up there you have it this is the f this is the result of all the integration and everything now let me explain you guys what is happening over here okay now if you want to do an integration in python what you need is that you, ju you, ju you don't have to do go to scipy and do all the all the options okay what you have is that you just have this gradient function and that is it okay uh, unlike quadrature, this value is fairly, fairly straightforward. Okay. Now what you have to do is that you just have to define your, you define your variable like this, and set your uh, function y of y like this, and okay. And if you want to define your integral, okay, use this function np dot gradient. A gradient calculates the integral. And now for the for that to happen, you need two things. First, you need the function function value. Second, the uh, spa I mean the s spacing between the two integrals means between the two points given given by yeah, given by the different uh, given by the uh, your independent independent variable. So that's what I'm going done over here. I define x to be a linearly spaced value between two zero to two pi, zero to two pi, and I set like uh, hundred points over here. So if I want, I can set hundred and one also if that's not a problem, and then. What I've done is that I define the function to be uh, y to be sine sine two x using the numpy module. Now what I've done is that uh, okay y one will be will have the numpy numpy gradient function's ret, uh, va return value. Now this function gradient ha takes two arguments y and dx. Now y is actually the function that you want to integrate, and uh, dx is actually the spe spacing between two points in between two points in the in, in, in integral uh, between the variables between, between the independent variable in the between two points within the independent variable so x1 of x1 minus x0 actually calculate actually calculates the differences between distance distance between two points okay and then to calculate and then what i'm going to do is that i'm integrating it to another level okay and integrating to the other level and that is given by y2 y2 is actually the integration of integration of uh, y1 with the same spacing okay and then what I'm going to do I'm plotting it now the thing is uh, let me take my notepad okay journal okay now what you have to keep in mind is this now your y equals sine 2x fine so your integral so your in uh, sorry differential y dash which I give it by the another notation y1 is actually uh, 2 cos 2x fine differentiation of sine is cos and differentiation 2x is 2 with the front okay and then if y double dash which I give it by y2 which is actually uh, uh, y1 dash is actually d, d by dx of 2 cos 2x 2 cos 2x so this 2 comes in the front if I differentiate cos 2x I'll get uh, minus sine 2x 
and then if you differentiate two x, I'll get two again. Uh, if I differentiate two x, I'll get two. So what I get is minus four sine two x. Minus four sine two x. There you have it. Now this is what will happen. This is what will our answers be. So let's see how this turns out to be. Okay. If I run this, check this out. There you have it. Now your blue curve is actually a sine curve. Whereas your green curve is actually your differential, differential with all its value plotted at each and every value, each and every value, and it kind of works out to be works out to be works uh, works out to be correct, okay. More works out to be more or less more or less right, okay. Wherever sine is zero, if you look at here. Wherever sine is zero, okay. Your cos is cos is one. Or uh, one or minus one, depending on depending on the phase, okay. And wherever your sine is maxima, or wherever your sine is positive uh, maxima, or uh, in the I mean wherever your sine is one, your cos is zero, okay. Similarly, similarly, if you look at the second derivative, second derivative, it's minus four sine two x. It's exactly the same. The only thing is wherever it's the sine is positive, positively high. This is negatively, this is negatively low. You can see it's it's, it's like it's kind of flipped. Then it's like as if the entire function is flipped. Okay, so this way you have a po you have a position wherein you have a simple function wherein it calculates the integration and difference integration. Sorry, the differentiation of function just like that. Okay, but there is a small catch, however. If you look at the end points of the different of the integrations. Uh, means of these differentiations, they are a bit offset. They are actually a bit offset. Okay, that is because that is because of some the, uh, because of some approximations or some uh, la 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 lack of points in the en ending points to calculate them. Uh, so you might have you might have to you know so the differentiation uh, differentiation at the end points may not, end points of the limits may not be proper, but no matter the differentiation between all the other points are, are more or less very good and neat so it's always worth it it's this is worth it and uh, and uh, and one more thing i forgot and one more thing i forgot to tell okay i not forgot to tell one of the uh, one of my friend was asking me like uh, sometimes what i do is that if i run a function if i run a plot like this the legend which when i put it it kind of obstructs the graph over here abstracts the graph over here so what he is asking me is that is it possible to make this transparent to make this transparent or translucent or, or translucent like that i said yeah it's possible so how to do is that okay and when you draw a legend over here there's this option called as frame uh, uh, i guess it's called as frame alpha i guess let's see Control I. Legend has a lot of arguments inside. Uh, one of the arguments, I guess, is uh, upper right column, frame, fancy box, shadow, B box, title. Um, not much. Uh, and what is it? Arca scale prop and com. Ah, come on, man. Okay, fine. Uh, it doesn't matter. I guess it's frame. I think it's alpha. Alpha equals 0 0.5, something like that. If you run this, hopefully, it doesn't throw any error. Um. It did throw an error. Yeah, fine. Frame alpha. Okay. Now, if you notice, the difference is that the thing it became this entire legend box became transparent. It became transparent. Okay. Now, the thing is, this frame alpha is a ca is actually an attribute that decides how what should be the what how what should be the transparency of this frame box okay, of this legend box. So, if I set the frame alpha to be zero. Okay, the function. If you see, this is entirely transparent. But this is entirely transparent. But uh, 
you know this is i mean the box is transparent the box is kind of not available it's transparent okay now if i set this to be one set this to be one it's opaque the box is opaque and kind of blocks the obstructs the path obstructs the curve as well curves and everything so if i set any value between uh, any value between one zero and point one zero and one it's going to be translucent okay so let's let me set this here uh, set set 1.0 for opaque opaque uh, 0 for transparency okay uh, between them between 0 and 1 for transclusion for transclusion display okay that's about it so if you run this there you have it okay now this is how you do a simple differentiation in python now in the next uh, that, that's about it huh and this is simple now huh? the next uh, tutorial we will be looking at a lot of symbolic operations that are available in python okay with which we will be in a position to do uh, integration differentiation symbolically okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time